वाई शुड आई गो फॉर डेवलपमेंट पी एस सी इज ईजी ओनली एंड आई कैन क्रैक द इंटरव्यू बाई डूइंग कोडिंग ओनली दैट्स अ वैलिड पॉइंट ओके लेट्स लिसन टू द सेकेंड पॉइंट हाँ वाई शुड आई डू डी एस ए एट द एंड वी नीड टू वर्क ऑन सम टेक्स टैक ओनली एंड आई गो गो एंड राइट टी ट्रेवल इन द ऑफिस Even courses are available online. So why should I go for DSA? I should go for some development. I should learn some tech stacks. That is also a valid point. Now you are also confused, right? Like what to choose, development or DSA, and what should be a good approach for a fresher or a college student, and where you should invest your time. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Arnavi Mitra, and I'm SD at a fan company. in this video we will be talking about what is important to choose dsa or development i know there are a lot of confusion so i will give uh, the two pros pros and cons of dsa as well as development and my finalized suggestion like what you should choose and what uh, will benefit you what will help you so let's start so let's start with dsa and we will talk about two pros and cons of dsa and then we will move for the development part so we know dsa meaning data structures and algorithm so that meaning and the whatever we uh, we are learning in our college days the same thing we need to brush up for cracking the great product based companies now uh, what are the pros so first thing i would want to say that the data structures and algorithm we generally do in our college days that means the fundamental or the basics all things will be cleared in our college days now if someone uh, want to go for a big product based company where dss are mainly asked what they can do they can simply start preparing from college as well because those are part of the syllabus maybe in syllabus mostly theoretical uh aspects we give more importance we just learn the concept we know learn about the algorithms present and data structures but the coding part we don't do uh, like uh, as per our college standards but we can parallelly do from our college uh, like in, in our college also a student can do similarly if you are fresher uh, i can understand your fundamentals are clear so you just need to brush up and uh, the theory part or the basics are clear only you need to practice the advanced part like all the uh, data structures you need to brush up the array the string especially graph tree try this kind of things you need to do a lot of practice so this is one of the very important part that yeah learning dsa is easy uh, because we have the basics cleared Uh, in uh, our college days the second part uh, we know there are certain product based companies like amazon google uber they hire based on only data structures algorithm there will be coding rounds even for this sd2 round we need to practice uh, system design that also they are also we need to write some code so there are uh, we know that there are a uh, certain syllabus kind of thing there are a certain uh maybe 250 or 300 questions if you are able to solve those question then you can easily attempt any uh, question so they they no uncommon question will come so you can say the syllabus or the questions are limited only it's uh into those 300 questions again uh, like there are a lot of resource available online so getting uh based on those uh, resources you can if you are giving uh, at least one year you will be interview ready and the cracking the interview won't that won't get that much difficult for you so these are the uh, two pros of uh, doing uh, dsa only now i will say uh, two cons or what can be the drawbacks so first thing is that uh when you are joining one company and you have only knowledge of dsa maybe as a fresher level it's okay if you are a student and you need to anyway learn the things because at the end in company you need to work on some tech stack and that can be anything so you need to learn the things but suppose you have one on 1.5 years experience and then you are switching like i switch then the expectation from you is higher 
and then you can just simply um, uh, you just simply say that I uh, don't know because the expectation will be higher so at that point of time you must have some knowledge of uh, development some tech stack so with the DAC you can't just uh, go and survive in a company and the second thing is we know that the big uh, product based companies do hire from DSA but with DSA only uh, your choice will be very much limited because uh, there are other companies who uh, not only focus on DSA but also the tech stack you have worked for example uh, Flipkart if you go to Flipkart website you can see they hire for SD1 front end, SD1 back end uh, other than Mintra, um, Artlashian for these companies uh, you need to uh, have some knowledge of development and then only you can apply so these are the two pros and cons of DSA now I will quickly move uh, for the development part and I will uh, tell you what will be the um, good points and drawbacks of going through development only now for the development part so what is a development uh, or why what why we use that uh, should we go for development so development is like learning the tech stacks maybe some full stack technology or some maybe back back-end technology or front-end technology so there are many uh, tech stacks like MeanStack, MongoDB, Node, Express, Angular si similarly MonStack their uh, Angular will be replaced by React or in back-end there is Java, Java Spring Boot we have Node similarly in front-end we have React Angular so these are the popular tech stack I was uh, explaining there are a lot of many other uh, tech stacks so we know that in the company we mainly work uh, on this web uh, tech stacks and some of the tech stacks like um, Java Java is evergreen if you go to any company uh, website you can at least find uh, for one position for um, Java developer similarly react is in high uh, demand so these are the tech stack are in high demand and if you have knowledge of this then um, to crack one uh, interview it won't be that much uh, difficult so what are the pros uh, so first uh, first pro or first positive point is that there are a lot of companies which uh, uh, take the interview based on your development profile only Be, uh, so here the, you will be given some real life problem and you need to solve them so you, if you have the in-depth or knowledge of those uh, tech stack you can easily solve those problem and you can solve them and the plus point is there are a lot of companies though we only focus on the fang companies but there are other companies other startups many big uh, companies as i mentioned flipkart mintra atlassian some startups they focuses on mostly on the development part and based on your cv or your project you can go and apply and there are high chances that you will get call if you have good project now what is the second plus point the second plus point is that uh, if you have that knowledge and uh, suppose you have a very good knowledge of java developing and you just join one company as a java developer and as you you can use those knowledge and you can very soon lead one project you can get more opportunities inside your office work based on your experience so it will be a very plus point when when you join your office and you can explore a lot of things and you you can lead some projects so it will help you to boost your career inside uh, your uh, uh, company and you can later go for some other uh, you can switch and get uh, hike so it uh, you, you will learn the things you will have some uh, corporate level experience and that will be very much useful for this now i will come to the cons part like what can be the drawback so first thing is that uh, even though in interviews they focuses on uh, Java development or any development tech stack but in freshers level maybe two three years still two three years you have you will have uh, you will face uh, at least one or two DSA question maybe soft uh, SD uh, sorry LLD question also you can face but the data structures question will be there so you can just simply uh, ignore the DSA part uh, anyway you need to brush up your DSA before going to the interview so this is uh, one drawback that you 
based on only development part you can't go and the second is there are a lot of technology so you just can't uh, learn each and every technology because at that way you won't have the full knowledge of any technology like you can go with java only because java is in high demand react is in high demand but things may change after five years so five after five years you need to learn a, uh, some other technology and then to apply it for those posts you need to go with those technologies so this will happen and you need to keep yourself upgraded and uh, your uh, in that case also the if you are stuck with one technology your um, choice or your choice for company will be again limited so you need to keep on updating yourself you need to learn you need to always keep on learning like in dsa if you have learned only revi revision will help but here you need to keep yourself updated you need to keep on making project you need to keep in a like loop of learning so these are the pros and cons now i will explain like what should be your approach or my suggestion for this college student as well as fresher like what you should choose and what should be uh, your approach so let's start so the first thing is like if you are a student as i was saying and you you can only focus on dsa for now because at the end when you will land up in any company that may be a service based company or product based company or a startup because uh, all these three types of company for the students uh, they won't expect a lot of uh, development uh, tech stacks that you know uh, if you know you can expect questions from them but as a student level you will mostly be questioned based on your cv dsa question and like if you have in the, um, like internship experience or if you have mentioned in your cv that you have worked on some text and then you can work on those things especially for uh, big product based companies and uh, service based company you can crack with dsa only for uh, cracking any startup you 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 can have some basic tech stack knowledge and obviously deep uh, like uh, you need to have some projects and based on that you can clear because anyway the expectation from you is that you will be given training and based on those training you will start your work but if you have one or 1.5 year experience and then you are planning to switch then based on dsa only you can't survive because the expectation from you will be more even while choosing your cv they will check what are the projects you have and whatever work you have done so in your cv suppose you if you have mentioned that you have worked on a full stack project then it is surely going to be a plus point for you so for the students uh, i will say that you can survive with dsa if you have time other than doing uh, like dsa complete uh, depth uh, knowledge or advanced dsa you can have some good projects uh, some uh, maybe basic project also work or you can do some full stack project like e-commerce application or some uh, thing like pizza ordering application food ordering application this kind of application you can make and this will surely going to help you but if you are uh, like fresher like uh, you you are not just pass you have experience of uh, more than one years then i would suggest just do dsa and your uh, development parallelly because at that point of time uh, having knowledge of tech stack is surely going to help you and it will open a lot of opportunities for you so these are like my suggestion like what you should choose and why you should choose i hope uh, this will be helpful for you so if you like this video please like share and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe my channel also in case of any feedback please let me know in the comment section thank you